There are a bunch of woodworking tricks videos on YouTube. Some of them are really good, but some of them are really bad and they have some advice or some tips that are really not useful. So I thought that I would make my own version of this kind of video. I would show you my top four woodworking tricks that I actually use and that I actually find useful. So these are not going to save you a ton of time. They are not going to change your life, but they will save you a bit of time. And I think that you will find them useful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now let's get into trick number one. Now this first trick is a real simple one and it is for any time that you are cutting something with a circular saw. So I wouldn't use this if you're doing something that has to be really accurate. Then I would use a miter saw or table saw. But if you are cutting some boards that they don't have to be perfectly cut, then it is fine to use a circular saw and a speed square. And instead of measuring up the length of the board, then using a speed square, speed square to make a mark with a pencil, and then cutting and try to follow that line. You can just measure up the length, then put the circular saw where you're going to cut, and then you use the speed square, speed square as a guide. You just shove it up to the circular saw, and you use that as a guide to cut the board. So by doing that, you are saving a bit of time. Of course, it's not a whole lot of time, but if you're doing a lot of boards like this, you will save some time, of course. But also it actually gets more accurate because instead of trying to follow that line, you are using that speed square as a guide. So make sure you are holding on to that uh, speed square tight so that it's perfectly angled and it sits, you know, towards the edge of the board that you are cutting. So trick number two is one that I got from Bourbon Moth Woodworking here on YouTube. He has some really cool stuff, so go check out his channel, Bourbon Moth. And this was a really cool trick. It's a handsaw trick. Now I just ordered some new blades for all of my Japanese handsaws and I will do this trick on all of them. But in this video, I'm gonna show you on one of my old blades and you'll see how it works. So quite often when you're cutting something with uh, a handsaw, it can be tricky to get started at the perfect spot. So if you have a very fine line that you need to hit, it is very often that you kind of get some jumping action at the start. You can get off your line. It wasn't too bad on this occasion, but this uh, trick that I'm going to show you will help you reduce that jumping and help you get deadly accurate as you're starting your cut. So what we're going to do is to just remove a few of the teeth at the bottom of the blade here. So just a couple of inches of teeth we are going to remove. Now, if you have a uh, Western style handsaw, you would do it at the top because you are cutting the opposite direction. You're starting at the top and cutting to the bottom. But with Japanese handsaws, you start at the bottom and then you cut to the top. So I'm just gonna use the grinder here and remove probably like an inch or something like that of teeth at the bottom here. Now that doesn't really feel right to cut the blade like that, but this will help you get more precise and it will give you a small groove that the blade can run through. So trick number three is for fixing a very common mistake. So let's say you have this board that you have planed and sanded and it's ready to go, but then you drop it on the floor or you drop something on the board 
and it leaves a mark. And of course you get highly depressed and start to wonder if you have to do it all over again. Well, maybe you don't because I have a trick that could work, it doesn't work all the time, but it could work to remove the mark. So this trick will only work if you have, if the wood fibers are, you know, compressed. So it will not work if the wood fibers are torn apart. But let me show you. Okay, so I have this board here and I just whacked it a few times with a hammer. So hopefully you can see these two marks. And again, this is not going to work if the wood fibers are torn apart. But what you would do is to grab a damp rag, or in this case, I have an old t-shirt. Just put it over the board. Then you want to grab a an iron, a hot iron. Just run over it a couple of times. Then hopefully the marks are gone and you can see there's still a small mark there. Now of course it's all wet so it's not that easy to see. There's a very small mark but pretty much nothing compared to what it was so this worked really fine and that is because the wood fibers were just compressed and the wet rag and the hot iron will decompress the wood fibers now trick number four is one that you will not have to use very often but it will be very useful when you need it so this is for when you are making some sort of tables, usually coffee tables, and especially if you're having angled legs. So when you have angled legs on a coffee table, it can be tricky to get the bottom side of the, of the legs perfect so that you don't have any wobble on the coffee table. So a very easy thing that you can do is to cut the legs too long then you flip the table over so that the top side of the table is against your workbench. The legs are facing up. And then you make just a simple, I don't know what I would call this, it's not really a jig, it's just a guide. So there's just two pieces of wood that I've fastened together to create an, an angle like this. Then you cut this at the length that you want the table to be so i think this is like 50 centimeters it is the length that you want from the bottom of the table to down to the floor just cut this on the miter saw then you put this down on the tabletop put it against the legs you use the handsaw you just follow this and use this as a guide to cut the legs off. As you can see that I'm doing in this video right here. So this is very easy. You just make a, a guide like this, put it up against the legs. And once you have cut that through, then you'll have perfectly cut legs. So this way you don't have to worry when you are cutting the angles of the legs that you will have any wobble. Uh, of course, it's gonna depend, you know, the floor has to be even. If it's not, then you'll have to do something else. But this is a very, very easy way to cut. Perfect length at angled legs. You can do this on straight legs as well, but especially on angled legs, I find this thing really really useful so those are my four woodworking tricks i hope you found them useful if you're looking for more tips and tricks like this 
I have written an ebook. It's called The Beginner Woodworker's Guide, and it is a introduction to woodworking if you are a complete beginner. I will help you get started building your first project, setting up your first shop, and give you some more tips and tricks that will help you get started with woodworking. So if you're interested in that, I'm giving it away for free right now. So just go to the link in the description of this video. And you can download that ebook for free. So if you enjoyed this video and you found some of these tips helpful, please leave a like. If you have some more cool, useful tricks like these, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.